Yo, yo, just want to make a quick video on my new favorite plugin, Soothe 2. It's by Oak Sound. I think I'm saying that right. I hope I'm saying that right. Sorry if I butchered it. Basically, what this plugin is, is a dynamic resonant suppressor, which means that it kind of live on the fly sweeps through your audio, pulls out any harsh frequencies or resonant frequencies that are sticking out. It's great for individual tracks, um, even on the master bus. It just acts as like a sneaky little ninja that just de-harshes your mix without you really knowing that it's even working. It's super user-friendly, really quick to set up. It's got lots of great presets too. I've been using it on vocals, hi-hats, um, snares. I have it on all of those in this tune, but I wanted to make a video on the sidechain function because I've just been playing around with it and realizing how dope it is. So it acts as a multiband sidechain EQ or a reductive EQ. And basically what I've got going on here is my bass and my lead are clashing. And I wanna make room for the lead to shine through over top of the bass, but I don't really wanna duck the entire volume of the bass because it has a longer tail than the lead. And I want that tail to not be affected. My lead is not your typical lead. It's more of like a low percussive knock. So it's hitting right in the bass range. And then my bass has a high end fuzz on it to help it cut through the mix but that is also clashing with my lead. So I've kind of set myself up for a tricky mix here, but Sooth 2 makes quick work of it. So I can show you my bass and I'll show you the lead. I'll solo both and I'll show you on a frequency analyzer where they're hitting. Then I'll play them both together. Then I'll play them all in the mix and you can hopefully hear what I'm talking about. So here is the bass. Okay, and here is my main lead. Here they are both solo together. And here they are all together in the mix. Okay, now I'm gonna jump back into my bass. So I've got the Soothe 2 on my bass bus and it is pulling audio from the main lead. So the lead audio is triggering it. Then I'm gonna enable the side chain function and I'm gonna turn up the depth and you can see it starting to work. So the dope part about this plugin is you can choose the areas you want to emphasize with these. And um, there's a few different curves too. And if you pull it down, it will lessen the effect in that area. If you pull it up, it boosts it. So I know that it's around the 300 range that I want. It, well, actually here, I'll just start turning it up and you can see it starting to work. And then you'll really see it work as I boost this. So as you can see, it's pulling the volume down on the bass here and here, and uh, it's making room for the lead. So I think the best way to really show the difference it's making would be to set a smaller loop. And then I'll automate Soothe on and off halfway through the loop, and I'll just let it play out a few times and just really focus in on how the bass kind of steps back and or the lead steps forward.
Okay, I hope you could hear that. You definitely need good headphones or good speakers. Uh, I know that it's subtle, but these subtle little moves really stack up and make for a clean mix down in the end. And I know that you could pull this off with other plugins and other techniques, but you definitely can't do it as quick and easy. And I think you have a little more control with this than any other ones that I've used before. And um, this is just the bonus function of this plugin. It's not even its main function. So I highly recommend checking out Soothe 2. There's other videos on its main function. I just wanted to share this on the side chaining because I've been finding it really useful lately.